Do you struggle to get a good night's sleep? Are you tired of counting sheep only to find yourself wide awake at the crack of dawn? Welcome to the world of sleep, where dreams are made and we rejuvenate. Sleep isn't just a passive state, but an integral part of our existence. It works like a city, bustling during the day and repairing at night. Sleep is the silent champion of well-being, mending damaged cells, enhancing our immunity, and rejuvenating our hearts for another day's adventure. It's crucial for mental health as well. Ever noticed how things seem brighter after a good night's sleep? Sleep helps manage stress, sharpens our minds, and upholds our memories. Moreover, sleep boosts productivity. Studies reveal that adequate sleep enhances concentration, ignites creativity, and reduces errors, setting us up for a successful day. However, in our busy lives, sleep is often compromised. We stay up late, wake up early, and wonder why we're always tired. If you're tired of being tired, stick around for some amazing tips. Let's delve into the intriguing universe of sleep and discover how to get the rest you deserve. Did you know that your environment plays a significant role in how well you sleep? It's true. The space in which you rest your weary eyes each night can either beckon you into a peaceful slumber or jolt you awake like a midnight thunderstorm. Let's picture an ideal sleep environment. First, it's dark. Darkness signals to our brain that it's time to wind down. Next, it's quiet. Noise can disrupt our sleep cycles, leaving us feeling groggy and unrested. Lastly, it's cool. A lower room temperature helps our body's internal thermostat hit the sweet spot for sleep. Now let's talk about electronics. The blue light emitted from devices like smartphones, tablets, and laptops can trick our brains into thinking it's still daytime, making it harder to fall asleep. So it's best to power down at least an hour before bedtime. So remember to create a sleep-friendly environment to invite Mr. Sandman. What you eat and when you eat, it can greatly influence your sleep patterns. That's right, folks. The road to dreamland might just start in your kitchen. Certain foods, like those rich in tryptophan, magnesium, and melatonin, can promote better sleep. Think turkey, almonds, and tart cherries. They're not just for Thanksgiving or summer picnics. They can be your secret weapon for a good night's rest. But beware. There are also sleep thieves lurking in your pantry. Spicy foods, heavy meals, and even that late night chocolate dessert can disrupt your sleep. These can cause discomfort, heartburn, or a sugar rush when you should be winding down. And remember, timing is everything. Try to avoid eating heavy meals close to bedtime. Give your body time to digest so it can focus on the important task at hand, delivering you to the land of dreams. Therefore, pay attention to your diet for a peaceful slumber. Exercise isn't just good for your body, it's also great for your sleep. You see, regular physical activity can help you fall asleep faster and enjoy deeper sleep. It's like a magic potion for those restless nights. The reason is simple. Exercise reduces stress and tires you out, making it easier to drift off into dreamland. Now you might be wondering when the best time to exercise for optimal sleep is. While there's no one-size-fits-all answer, many people find that working out in the morning or afternoon works best. This is because exercise elevates your body temperature, and it can take a few hours for it to come down again, promoting sleepiness. However, if evening workouts fit better into your schedule, don't sweat it. Just try to wrap up at least three hours before bedtime to give your body ample time to wind down, so don't forget to break a sweat for a better night's sleep. Ever heard of the saying, routine sets you free? Well, when it comes to sleep, this couldn't be more accurate. Establishing a regular sleep schedule is like setting the internal clock of your body. It's about consistency, about going to bed and waking up at the same time every day. Yes, even on weekends. Why is this so important? Because your body thrives on predictability. It likes knowing what to expect. When you set a routine, you're essentially training your body to anticipate sleep. And when sleep is expected, it comes more naturally. But don't just stop at setting bedtimes and wake up times. Create a pre-sleep routine too. Maybe it's reading a book, or listening to calming music, or having a cup of herbal tea. This signals your brain that it's time to wind down and prepares you for a good night's sleep. So stick to a routine and watch your sleep improve. Stress can be a real sleep killer. Imagine a scenario where your mind is a whirlwind of thoughts, worries, and anxieties. It's like trying to sleep in a storm. Stress not only keeps you awake, but also disrupts the quality of your sleep, leaving you feeling groggy and unrested the next day. So, how can we combat this sleep thief? Mindfulness is key. Practicing mindfulness exercises, such as meditation or deep breathing, can help soothe your mind and prepare it for sleep. It's like calming the storm before you sail into the sea of dreams. Next, consider incorporating stress-reducing activities into your day. This could be anything that relaxes you. Reading a book, taking a walk, or even cooking a meal. By keeping stress levels in check during the day, you're setting the stage for better sleep at night. Remember, a calm mind leads to a peaceful sleep. 
So let's bid farewell to stress and hello to sweet dreams. Caffeine and alcohol can both interfere with your sleep. So let's delve into why that is. Caffeine is a stimulant often used to kickstart the day or pull us out of an afternoon slump. But when consumed too close to bedtime, it can cause restlessness, preventing us from falling asleep or achieving deep, restorative sleep. Alcohol, on the other hand, might seem like a sleep aid because it can make us feel drowsy. But don't be fooled, it actually disrupts our sleep cycles, especially the important REM stage. This can lead to poor quality sleep and groggy mornings. Now the question is, when should you avoid these substances? Ideally, try to cut off caffeine consumption six hours before bed. As for alcohol, moderation is key. A glass of wine with dinner should be fine, but try to avoid drinking heavily in the hours leading up to bedtime. So, be mindful of your caffeine and alcohol consumption for uninterrupted sleep. Don't underestimate the power of a good mattress and pillow. These sleep companions contribute significantly to your sleep quality. Imagine sinking into a mattress that's just right, not too firm, not too soft, but supportive enough to cradle your body in a comfortable position. Now, couple that with a pillow that supports your neck and aligns your spine, creating the perfect environment for your body to rest. A worn out mattress or an unsupportive pillow can cause discomfort and disrupt your sleep. They can lead to body aches and pains, tossing and turning, and waking up feeling more tired than when you went to bed. But when you have a good mattress and pillow, they can help alleviate pressure points, align your spine, and provide support where you need it. Remember, we spend nearly one third of our lives sleeping. That's a lot of time spent on a mattress and pillow. Isn't it worth investing in the best? Invest in a good mattress and pillow for a night of sweet dreams. Sometimes, despite our best efforts, we still struggle with sleep. Let's talk about the signs that might indicate it's time to seek professional help. When it's more than just the occasional sleepless night, when you're regularly tossing and turning, or waking up feeling more exhausted than when you hit the hay, then it may be time to take a step further. Sleep disturbances that persistently affect your life, your mood, your energy levels, and your overall health are signs that you should seek the guidance of a professional. There's a variety of professionals who can assist. Sleep specialists can diagnose and treat sleep disorders, while psychologists can help manage stress or anxiety that may be affecting your sleep. Your primary care physician is also a good starting point. They can guide you to the right specialist. Remember, sleep is not a luxury, it's a necessity. Don't be afraid to seek help if you're still struggling with sleep. So let's quickly recap our top tips for a better night's sleep. We began by understanding the importance of sleep, how it revitalizes us, boosts our mood, and sharpens our mind. Then we delved into the sleep environment, emphasizing the need for a quiet, dark, and cool room. We also discussed the impact of diet on sleep, highlighting the benefits of eating light meals and avoiding heavy, spicy, or high sugar foods close to bedtime. Remember how exercise can promote better sleep? But it's crucial to avoid strenuous workouts close to bedtime. The power of routine cannot be underestimated either. Sticking to a regular sleep schedule helps regulate our body's internal clock. We also touched on the effects of stress, caffeine, and alcohol on sleep. Using relaxation techniques, limiting caffeine and moderating alcohol can significantly improve sleep quality. We highlighted the importance of a good mattress and pillow, and finally knowing when to seek help if sleep problems persist. Remember, a good night's sleep is within your reach. Sweet dreams.